Thank you. So, so far, we know that when derivative of function is positive, function is increasing. And when derivative of function is negative, function is decreasing. Now, to completely analyze function, we will use second derivative. And second derivative, we will use to determine when function is concave up and when function is concave down. And uh, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay. So yeah, I can see you. When graph is concave up and when graph is concave down. Graph is concave up when second derivative, when second derivative is positive. And graph is concave down when second derivative is negative. Now, first of all, let's define what is concave up and what is concave down? <clears throat> concave up, it means that, <clears throat> so here is, <clears throat> here is uh, two definition of concave up. Uh, this first one is when second line lies above the graph and second definition in the parentheses is that graph lies above its tangent line. You can use both. I'm more like what is in parentheses that graph is concave up when graph lies above its tangent line. So you know tangent line. Uh, and you can imagine graph lies above tangent line. This graph is concave up and concave down when graph lies below its tangent line. So what it means? Uh, for one minute, I will share my, uh, my board and I will sketch it. So, Grab what is concave up. Uh, for example, this is a coordinate system and uh, this is graph of function. Uh, it's concave up or concave down. Definition is that if graph lies above tangent line and we can pass tangent line This is tangent line for this graph and graph of this function, it lies above tangent line and this is concave up. And as for another definition, another definition, it was that any second line lies above graph. So this is second line and it's above graph, but I'm more like this second definition. It's more clear and it's more easy to understand that when graph lies above tangent line, this graph is concave up. So what is concave down? Concave down is this graph. And in this case, this graph lies below tangent line. So tangent line is above, and graph is below. This is concave down. Is it clear now what is concave up and concave down? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, yes. I will continue now okay, sharing. Can you, can you show me again that's what to graph? Can you show me again? Graph? 
Yeah. Okay. Please write down the, this function and then I will share uh, whiteboard again and Did you write down it? Yes. Oh, yes. Just a okay. second. Okay. Uh, so now I will share my whiteboard. Ali, this is concave up and concave down. Any questions about it? Uh, no, no, no. So this. First is concave up and this is concave down. Concave down. And this is concave up. And uh, in fact, what it means when graph is concave up. And a very well known example when graph is concave up. This is exponential function. This is exponential function. And what's happening when we have concave up crap? It happens that crap increasing fast. For example, uh, this crap and second one, for example, uh, this crap. Uh, what do you think? Are they increasing or decreasing? Let's first determine. Let's first determine. Uh, blue graph, it's increasing or decreasing? Uh, increasing. increasing. Both are increasing, but one yeah, of them is both slowly are, increasing. Uh, will be concave up, but the yes. red one will become also, down. Also, red, it's increasing, but there is... It's concave down, down, yeah? The yes, red one. there is huge difference. This graph, blue graph, it's concave up and it's increasing fast. And when graph increasing fast, uh, it's concave up. And look uh, here, for example, for this value of uh, X here, this uh, red graph has greater value than blue graph because appropriate value for this is this value of graph and for blue for blue we have we have less value of function but after this point when they intersect to each other value of blue graph it's greater than value of red graph. It happens because uh, blue graph, it's increasing fast. And you yeah. know, now it's uh, very important nowadays because unfortunately, currently we live in pandemic era and very dangerous what is in pandemics, it's that when it's increasing fast, when graph of pandemic increasing is concave up, it's very dangerous because increasing not only number of people who are infected, but increasing, increasing rate. So, for example, today we have uh, today we have new two hundred cases. Tomorrow we have also two hundred cases. So every day increasing by two hundred cases. But dangerous is when today we have two hundred. Tomorrow we have two hundred fifty. For for example, then thirty. 300 and so on. 
But yeah, every time increasing. Yes, increasing. So increasing, not only cases. Cases increasing here also. But this is linear increasing. And here, here, we have we have case that increasing not only number of cases, but they are increasing increasing rate. Yeah. In other words, in other words, it means that it means that derivative of derivative of function also increasing, and that is second derivative is positive. So let's recall what it means that first derivative, first derivative is positive. It means that function is increasing. And here in this graph, we have it in both cases, that first derivative increasing. But, but, but in case of red function, second derivative, it's less than zero, it's negative. And here, in case of concave up, here, second derivative is positive and graph increasing fast. So this case, 200, 200, 200, it's increasing, linear increasing, and uh, number of increasing cases here is the same. This is when increasing fast, when increasing rate of increasing. And also we can have when uh, 200 case today, uh, 150 tomorrow, 100 after tomorrow and so on. So this is when graph is uh, concave up here and this is when graph is concave down and when we have constant increasing here we have linear increasing and graph in this case is line so we have three type of increasing of function uh, concave up when function increasing fast very dangerous in case of pandemic, we have uh, when decreasing, increasing rate, when graph is concave down, and also we have linear increasing. Okay, now, now, let's now consider this example we have here, fx, equals x cubed plus uh, 24 times x square plus 15 times x minus 12. Now, our goal is to find when this function is concave up and when it's concave down. Okay, what is the first step? Derivative. First derivative. First step is first derivative. 3x square plus 48 times x plus 15. Okay. Then second derivative. It's 6 times x plus 48. Uh, 6 times x plus 48 we can construct sign chart here minus six because when x equals minus x, uh, this is zero. And now we can check sign of second derivative. Here it's positive, here it's negative, and it means that uh, from minus six to infinity. I'm sorry, why is it a minus six? Oh, sorry, minus eight. Thank yeah, you, right. Sophia. Here should be minus eight. 
מעשה כשלא צופיע. Here we have concave up, and from negative infinity to minus eight, we have concave down. Excuse me, how did you found out that from minus eight to, okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, here, here must be eight, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And as for point x equals minus eight, this point is called inflection point. Inflection. Inflection point. So, inflection point, this is point when graph changes concavity. Okay. Now, Now, how to analyze function? To analyze function, we have uh, four main steps. Step one. Step one. Step one is to analyze Analyze function fx. Analyze function fx, it means uh, to find the domain and uh, to find a y intercept. And sometimes also, maybe it's a good idea sometimes to find uh, x intercept. Uh, y intercept, it's always easy to find because to find y intercept, we need just to equate x to zero. Uh, as for x intercept, we should equate to zero y and solve equation. And sometimes it's easy to find, sometimes it's hard to find, and sometimes it's impossible. So let's agree that uh, always in this first step, we will find domain and we will find y intercept. Y intercept. Y intercepts inter intercepts so we know how to find domain to find y intercepts also we know we need to find f of zero now step two I recommend to write down it. Then next step is to uh, analyze f prime x. Analyze f prime x, it means first of all to find and then determine increasing and decreasing intervals. <clears throat> so here uh, we will find f prime x and then uh, construct sign chart, sign chart in this step, construct sign chart, and sign chart uh, will help us to determine uh, intervals of increasing and decreasing. Increasing and decreasing, increasing intervals and decreasing intervals. And, <clears throat> and to find local, local extremo. Extremo. 
going to find local x sigma. Okay, <clears throat> this is step two. Step three. Step three is to analyze a second derivative of function. Analyze second derivative of function. So here we need as well to find sign chart for second derivative. So sign chart and we already know increasing and decreasing points. We know local extrema, but what we need now to use uh, for a second derivative, we need to find intervals of when function is concave up and concave down. So when function is concave up, let's denote it by this, concave up or graph is concave down. Okay. And at the same time, we will find inflection points. And finally, step four, it's last step. Step four. Step four, it's to uh, sketch graph. Sketch the graph. Okay. Now let's now uh, do it for particular function. And for example, we have a function uh, fx equals x in the power four minus two times x cubed. Okay, let's start to analyze this function. Step one. Why intercept? Very good, but first of all, domain, found it, domain. So this is polynomial function and domain of polynomial function. It's always all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay. Uh, then find f sub zero, f of zero, f of zero is zero. So it's only y intercept. And y intercept here. Y uh, Y in uh, ter sept. This is zero. So first step is done. Step two. Any questions so far? No. Okay, Maggie. Step two. Step two, find derivative. It's a three times x cubed minus six times x square. It's four. Isn't it four, four times yeah. that's uh, oh, Q? Yes, yes, four times. Thank you, thank you. I will correct it. Ah, you did it specially, yeah. So, four times X cubed minus six times X square. Okay, now, now, very important now to sketch, uh, to construct sign chart. Construct sign chart. To construct sign chart, it's a good idea to factor out from here. What can we factor out? 
Two x. Two x square. Two x square. Yeah. Two x square, and we have two x minus three. Now I will construct sign chart. I will construct sign chart, and mark here uh, points when first derivative equals zero. This is point, uh, this is zero. And what is another point? Two over, uh, what is the other over, point? Two over two. 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 Sorry? No, it's uh, two over three, yeah? No, it's three over uh -huh. two. Oh, three over two, yeah. Three over two. So if it's uh, hard to find, here is easy way. Just we need to solve this. 2x uh, minus 3 equals 0. And from here, x equals 3 over 2, or we can write down five, uh, 1.5. Yeah. I wanted to say that. But we need to equal 2x squared to 0 also, right? We already did, Sophia. Yes, it's very good. We already did, and that's why I marked here 0. Uh, is it 0? 2x hmm. squared equals 0. What is solution? Uh, x squared equals 2. So Why 2, uh, Sophia? Here is the product. Uh, yes, yes. Times x squared. From here, x square equals zero. And x only solution here is x equals zero. Ah, yes, yes. That's why I marked this zero. So here is zero, and here we have here we have uh, three over two. Yes, three over two, or I can write one point five. Okay, now, now we need to find signs here. And let's first check uh, right interval. What will be in, in the right interval sign? Plus. Plus. I agree, plus uh, from zero to 1.5. Minus. Absolutely, it's negative. Yeah. Okay. From negative infinity then to zero. Plus. 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 Oh, it's it's common mistake here. It's common mistake uh, that. Yeah, I said minus. It's common mistake here that you think that a uh, sign there, there changing but it's not always true if you will check here for example if you plug here uh, for example negative 10 you will find that this is negative this is positive so here we have negative, negative so be very careful I'm sorry, I checked and they got a positive number. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I put minus yeah, one maybe. into the function. Okay, okay. And I got minus one. Yeah, okay, let's two. let's put minus one. Uh, let's put Sophia minus one. We have two times minus one square times two times. Minus one, minus three. Oh, we are putting derivative, right? Because I put it in function. No, no, no. Yeah. No, we, okay. we are finding, Sophia, it's a very good question and also a common mistake. We are finding, we are finding sign for derivative, for first derivative. This sign chart is for first derivative. 
Yeah. So, can you hear me? Yes, Ali. Oh, I thought you you can hear me. So, no, we can now write down when function is increasing and when function is decreasing. Can you help me when function is uh, decreasing? From minus infinity to zero is decreasing. And what uh, about from, from zero one, to one? Is still decreasing. To 1.5. No. From zero infinity How it can be like that? to 1.5. How it can increase from maybe it can be like that. So it's from it's minus decreasing. infinity to 1.5 is decreasing. Yes, and absolutely. It's from, increasing. And after it's decreasing, yeah? From After. negative infinity to minus 1.5. It's decreasing. It's decreasing. And from 1.5 oh, yeah, to positive infinity. Increasing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. increasing. Yes. I thought you said from minus to minus 1.5, it's increasing. That's why I was... And from here, 1.5 yep. to increasing. positive infinity, it's increasing. First one is going to get you down, then come to you up. Okay. Yep. Now, now, I need now your help. Uh, as yep. you know, as you know, uh, we, our final goal is to sketch graph. And when we will sketch graph. What about the second derivative? Just a minute, one that we will do it very soon. But finally, our goal is uh, to sketch graph in this step four. And when we uh, when we will try to sketch graph, we need uh, these points. We should mark these points in the uh, coordinate system. But uh, we can't we can't mark we can't plot these points because we know only one coordinate. Oh, why here is minus? Here must be positive. Yeah. So what we need now, we need to find second coordinates for this point and for this point. And for this point, it's very easy because we already know F0 is zero. zero. So this point is point zero, zero. And we need to find this point. To find this point, we should put in the original function F, uh, F1, Point five, and can you help me, please? You can use calculator. You can use calculator. However, I recommend to factor out here x cube, and in the parentheses here we have uh, x minus two. So, of course, you can use calculator, but also we can calculate it uh, that uh, if we just put here so I will put here because it's very easy, it's more easy and I will put not 1.5 but uh, 3 over 2. So I have 3 cube, 2 cube times negative. What? 1.5 minus 2. It's negative 1 over 2. So finally, we have uh, minus. Here we have uh, three cube, it's 27. And here we have 
2 in the power 4, 16. Now you can divide it in the calculator and find it's just one oh, way. You can do 1. it. 1.68. The number is 1.68. Uh, I have a question. Um, we put this 1.5 in an, an or, original function, right? Or in the yes, derivative? Yes, Vasily, yes. We are putting this function in the original, original. function. Okay, yeah. Because, because and why, why, we, why we did this, Vasily? Look carefully. Uh, in the final step, we need to sketch graph. And to sketch graph, I need to plot this point, 0 and 1.5. But to plot in the coordinate system, we need to know two coordinates. OK, yeah. One point is 0, 0. And another point, uh, what is it? 1.68. Minus 1 point. Yeah, minus. 68. Correct? Yes. Okay. okay. So now I know, now I know that uh, I will plot in the final step 2.00 and another point uh, 1.5 and negative 1.68. Uh, All I will write 170. Please, I would like to ask you to look very carefully and ask if any questions here. And then we will continue to do step four. Step four, I will try to write here. Please let me know when you are ready to continue. I want to make sure, make sure that everything is clear so far. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clear. clear on me. <clears throat> okay, let's now continue step three. Step three. And step three is to find second derivative. And second derivative is going to be 12x squared minus 12x. Yes, 12x squared minus 12x. 12x. Very good, very good. Okay, and let me to factor out 12x. 12x, and in the parentheses we have x minus 1. Okay, now we need to construct sign chart, but this sign chart is different from the previous sign chart, because this sign chart, it will be from for second derivative. So here, for second derivative, we have sign chart here we have a zero. And what is another point? One. One point zero five. And one. Zero and one. Zero and what is Sophia's and another point? Oh. One. One. Yeah. One. Yeah, one. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if we will check here is positive, negative, and positive. Now, what it means? It means that from negative infinity, from negative infinity to from negative infinity to zero. What is this graph? This graph is concave up. Concave up. Uh, 
from zero to one, this graph is concave down. And from one to infinity, from one to infinity, from one to infinity, positive infinity, this graph is again concave up. Okay. Now we are almost ready to sketch graph. We need just uh, one point to plot in the coordinate system. And now we need just to find second coordinate for this point. What is this point? Who can tell me what is this point? What we need? We don't know second coordinate of this point. One. So we should find it. So we, we have to put it in the original. The in the original function. function, yes, absolutely. So F1, F1 is going to be negative one. So this point one minus one and point zero zero, they are inflection points because second derivative at the point at these points change sign. Please make sure that everything is clear. Sorry, what, zero and Can one you don't are the inflection. Explain infection. me in the yeah. last part again, please. I mean, which one, Ali? Ali, which one? When where you start uh, to talk about this concave up and concave down. Okay, step three. Ali, do you mean step three? Yeah, I mean step three, and uh, there's. 12x squared and minus 12x. Like it's. Uh, it's it's second derivative, Ali. It's second yeah. derivative yeah. of function. Then, so like, it's derivative. I, it's yeah. derivative of first derivative. Yeah. It's and derivative from that, here. And after that, you are just. Um, just factor out 12x. Of, yes, yeah, I factor out 12x. Yeah. And, and then, then I marked here in the number line. Two point. Okay. When yeah. this factor is zero, and this is mm -hmm. when x equals zero, and when this factor is zero, this is x equals one. Okay. Okay. Now I got it. Yeah, I I just needed to make sure about that. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. It's good. Thank you. So now I'm going to sketch graph. Now I'm going to sketch graph and I want to sketch here. I want to sketch here, but uh, what if we will erase, what if we will erase What do you think? It's okay. That's fine. Okay. So to sketch graph, we don't need more this, uh, what I marked. And I hope you wrote down it. Okay, I will erase it now. Okay, so now okay, so this is coordinate system.
uh, this is coordinate system okay now i need to plot all the points all these uh, important points here we have important point zero zero it's right here here we have 1.5 and minus negative, yes it's somewhere here yeah yeah at this point okay uh, we need also uh, we need one minus one one minus one so one minus one it's here one minus one it's here i think that's all so uh, here we have uh, 1.5 here we have 1.5 here we have one okay so now let's start first of all from negative infinity to 1.5 five function is decreasing function is decreasing and also i know that from negative infinity to zero function is concave up so let me sketch that concave up to zero then from zero from zero to one from zero to one graph is concave down yeah yeah concave down concave down so concave down it's decreasing again it's decreasing again it's you mean decreasing. after after zero yeah it's decreasing but it's concave down concave down yeah, yeah. now yeah. from one to 1.5 it's decreasing again it's decreasing again but look here uh look here mm. each concave up so here it changed concavity and then from 1.5 each concave up and it's increasing this is our graph. Everything is here. Look now very critically and ask me, ask me if any questions. Yeah. I have a question. There is no question. I have a question. Yeah. Okay, please. I understood the whole point, but how did we found out the point one and minus one? Like okay, very good question. One and minus one. Uh, how we found one it's from second derivative we found okay. second derivative and we found one yeah what about now, minus how one? we found minus one this is correspondence value of function when x equals one our function unfortunately i uh, erased it but you can uh, oh the original form or the original and what is this function can you tell me x power uh, yes. 4 fx equals x power 4 minus 2x cube okay and this one this one i put here f1 it equals 1 in the power 4 minus 2 times one in the power three and this is minus one and i got point one and minus one this okay. point I and what it. is this point what is this point what is this point this is inflection point because a second derivative change sign here 
Okay, next question. It was a good question. Next question. So we, uh, when we were sketching the like graph, we put there num like uh, one minus one, yes, and um, minus one point seven and one point five. So it is the, from the first derivative, right? So we put um, like numbers from there as well, yes. Sophia. I'm sorry, say again. Yeah, so we, we put there uh, numbers one and minus one, and also 1.5. Step, step, step by step, Sophia. So uh, how we got one, is it clear for you how we got one? Yes, yes, this one is. Okay. How we got uh, minus one, is it clear? Yes, yes. Okay, now what is your question? So we put there also 1.5 and minus 1.6. It is from the first derivative, right? When we were like, this is numbers from the first derivative, right? Yes, so 1.5, 1.5, we got, uh, when first derivative, we equate to zero. Yeah. To find increasing and decreasing intervals. Yes. Uh, so we put all these numbers, but when, when we want to like sketch, we uh, we watch on the on the like sign yes, chart. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I found this point. That's why I found this point, because I told that in the final step we need this point, second coordinate. We need this point to sketch graph. Yeah. Ah, uh, so to sketch graph to know how. Yes. It's, it's, it's Absolutely. Or... Yes. Okay. To sketch graph, we should plot this point. And I can't plot this point without knowing knowing yes. second coordinate. Yeah. And okay. I miss to say, I miss to say one important thing that this point, uh, this value minus one seven, this is local minimum. And this function. It has only one local minimum when this is this point. This is local minimum. Local minimum and local minimum, it's minus 1.7. Okay. Any other question? No. Okay. If no question, would you like to take a break? Um, yes. Yep. Okay. Take break for 10 minutes. Okay. And then continue. Oh, so do we have quiz in a second hour? But no, so so. Who got some discussion tomorrow? Oh, it's me, it's me. I should go up, cuisine. So, do we have quiz today? Sophia, do we have quiz today? Mm, I think so, according to the syllabus. Yes, we have. Yeah, we are supposed to have. Maggie, is there in the syllabus quiz? Yes, yes, we are supposed to have quiz today. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Okay. I will see in the syllabus. Yeah. 